Well, all right then. So about a month ago, I did one of my first videos, which was a grand piece online, honest review on the Gura Gura no Mi, also known as the Quake Fruit. And after logging in today, I can see that you guys enjoyed it thoroughly. So in today's video, we'll be doing another honest review on the Magu Magu no Mi, also known as the Magma Fruit. If you guys didn't watch the first video, I recommend going to watch it because it lists out the factors that we'll be rating out in this video. And it's a lot more in depth than what I'll be describing here. So the link to that will be at the top of the description in this video. But Anyway, we will be rating the Magu Magu no Mi's strength, utility, rarity, and tradability. So without wasting any time, let's get straight into it. So starting off with strength, I think it's pretty obvious what I'm about to say due to how notorious Magu is throughout the community. The Magu Magu no Mi is listed as one of the highest damaging fruits in the entire game, mythicals included and is considered broken even on the literal fandom of the game. So the Magu Magu no Mi enables the user to pretty much solo some of the hardest bosses in the game and can even be used to break straight through some common PVP builds. Without a doubt in my mind, Magu's strength rightfully deserves a 10. On top of having some ridiculous base damage, it tops the cake with additional burn damage that takes over time, making Magu deadly even after its initial hits. You can make ranged and close combat builds with ease and it's really not hard to play since it makes grinding and farming easy. One of my friends even described Magu as being so easy for him that it's boring to play the game and he even considered switching his fruit because of how easy it was before my other friends and I convinced them not to. So once again, solid 10 in the strength category, it definitely deserves the name that it's built throughout the community 100%. So moving into utility, what exactly can Magu Magu no Mi be used for as far as tasks and capabilities? Let's get into it. So the first thing that we should list out is the fact that Magu is a Logia, which means that you do get a Logia bar. So pretty much a Logia bar enables you to have dodges and you can dodge, or I guess, phase physical attacks so anything that is a non-hockey physical attack will not be able to affect you i feel like that could be something that's listed in the strength category but i guess i put it in the utility because it makes farming bosses who don't have hockey just that much easier on top of that another trait that this fruit has that many don't is the fact that you can walk on water so technically you don't need a boat while using this fruit that goes for a few other legendary fruits like hie but this one is just one of the few that enables you to walk directly on the water as far as pure farming capability i'm pretty sure you guys already know with such high damage it makes farming 10 times easier you can pretty much go through and solo the hardest bosses in the game if you wanted to all righty here we go here we Let's go watch for real for real <laughs> What I've heard, there's no damage cap on a lot of the moves, so you can pretty much train Magu as far as you want up until you hit the max level. If you put like all of your points into it, you're going to have infinite damage. With that being said, it's definitely better than Gura in the utility category, and I'm gonna have to go ahead and give it a nine, which I really don't want to because of how my friend described it, but it is a nine. The fruit is simply that good. I can't really downplay it simply because my friend and I have a bias to it. So next up we have Rarity of Magu Magu no Mi, and this one I was kind of torn between because I didn't know if I wanted to place it as a 9 or a 10 simply because Magu to me seems like it could have been a mythical with a few tweaks but because it's not tweaked I'm just gonna have to go ahead and give it a 10 in its placement because it's a legendary it needs to be a legendary there's no way in God's name this thing could be a rare by any means that would be disrespectful to it and if it was a mythical like I said the tweaks would be necessary so I think legendary is its perfect placement so finally is the tradeability of Magu now a lot of people already know in the community that Magu is a high commodity it's a precious item you pretty much can get a lot of unobtainables for a magu i haven't seen people bargain off of it like try to lowball a magu simply because it's not possible everybody already knows the capability of the fruit and that's why it's so sought after which is why the tradability has to be a nine like i was saying before in the last video if you guys didn't see it a nine or a ten would have to be something along the lines of either a high-end legendary fruit or all-seeing eye or some unobtainables and when i say that i mean like the good unobtainable not the low tier ones so because magu is a high-end fruit it classes up there with all seeing eye and the high class unobtainable so like i said it has to be a nine let me know in the comments what you guys would consider a 10 for a trading item because i'm really not sure if i wanted to place this in nine or ten this one was also kind of iffy because there are people trading it for ridiculous items but at the same time i haven't seen insane insane trades like it's not gonna 1v1 for all seeing eye i have not seen that yet so let me know in the comments what you guys think but after doing the math the 
overall comes up to a nine and a half out of ten for magu but that pretty much wraps up the video really short really sweet similar to the gura video i recommend you guys watch that if you haven't because i do want to have all the legendary fruits done and then we'll probably move i'll let you guys pick into the other rarities but uh make sure to subscribe and like with post notifications on i'm doing more videos as time goes on so it's just a good idea to have those for me drop a comment on what you thought about the list did you guys agree with the list did you not is there some things i could have tweaked around let me know in the comments but uh yeah i will see you guys in the next one Bye bye